Hi. Okay. So, I just want to start this video out as, um, you are your one and only you, basically. I, um, I guess I just... I guess I just, I kind of want to say about the ego, about poality. Basically, what I want to say in this video is um, that my last video, <laughs> um, it's it has so much standpoint and it's very valuable. Everything in it is very true because at that moment that's what I was feeling and Since there is no wrong and there's only right because everybody has their own point of view and truths They can have their opinions, but they also can have their truths within that they are them and Basically, I just I guess my last video was um, I guess we can say was Attempting to showcase the embellishment of what it means to have an ego and how valuable it is and why it's how it can be preferable of not giving up that ego. Um, also, what it means to take it take things from a neutral perspective instead of going to a polar polar opposite is what I was attempting to say earlier um, because then you can go to an extreme and then you won't really be looking at both sides and an equal opportunity of what it can be to see both sides at the same time um because yes what i said earlier was creation created this because it's fearful and doesn't might not want to take the next step da 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 da, da. which yes there are parts in creation that hold that space that hold the balance of what is can be considered as an idea of what fear can be of going and taking the next step at the same time taking the next step is okay it's beautiful or being what you want to be basically if you feel that you should let the ego go let it go let it go if you feel that the ego is something you should hold on to hold on to it but what I'm saying truly is To basically not to reject yourself to see value in all that you are all that you can be that in a way you are a visitor to this time to this reaction of what is experience um, not reaction but what can take place in expanding who you are and taking that place step by step um, that Do what you please, basically. Um, that that in an, another sense of why it's good to be balanced and centered, um, because then you can go into that extreme of a polarity um, and be able to view more, focus more of what isn't neutral. Um, like, also, it's, me, myself, I feel that it's very valuable to keep the ego, not to say I'm going to give it away, to keep it, to keep it by you. Now, it's important how you phrase it and how you go about focusing it, because you can be egotistical and say this and this and this is, ah, 
or whatnot. Um, but basically, I'm going to keep my ego right next to me. I'm not going to fully express myself through my ego. But I'm not going to reject it because it is value and it has what I wish to have. Because that's why I'm here to experience it. If not, I wouldn't be here. Um, I wouldn't be visiting this, basically. Basically, also, you're being that you're a visitor, or you can have that kind of perception, um, your true self, your true essence, doesn't have ego until you incorporate it, basically. Um, it has the idea of what it can be, but it's like learning to swim in sand or learning to swim water you can learn you're still gonna learn regardless how to swim but if you go into that water there's no doubt that you're gonna learn how to swim basically you're it's just gonna happen like that basically um so as i was saying of how you should focus and word it and structure it and see it and whatnot is that yes, you can give the ego away or you can keep it right by you so you can take what you what you experienced and what you understand and funnel that into what it is that you're occurring at that actual moment of how you should express and deepen yourself. Of um, so, you, so you have a base to stand on. So you can say, I understand this and this is why I understand it. Not to say that you have to present that what that moment is but you can have something for yourself so that you can go off of and express yourself and expand yourself um also another reason why i made that last video or was well, because i made that last video but now um i also understand that um we have a there's the new energies and just new being and the next step and everything, the next page basically of what not your perception of what is your perception of what you feel that is going on. What is your truth of the higher dimensions coming in or grazing up your vibration or alien brethren or this Illuminati or this and this, not to say that it isn't not to say that it is, but being that I feel that it is and being that I feel that and my perception holds that space of what it means to be in the new energies and the new whatnot of everything, um, that basically when you are in the next step, the next page, you don't exactly know or perceive that you know you have to recall or whatnot what it means to be in that area. Um, because you can think of it as you were at the top and you went down and now you go back up kind of a thing. Um, or you were at the bottom, went up, go, went back down and back up or something like that. What not? How you, how is it most preferable for you to perceive it? Um, cause there are the beans that went, went, started up and went down and then there are the beans that went up and went back down kind of thing. Cause well. But once you get created, you, you're everywhere because you can go experience whatever. That's kind of what it means to be everywhere, multi-dimensional, because you have that potential of being able to experience what you choose to experience through that of free will. You have that gift and amazing skillfulness of what it means to be able to present yourself in that way. But being that there are the new energies that are coming in, or the next page that's being flipped, you haven't read through that part in a way to assist you to recall how the basis of what it means to be there, to take and work through that focus of how you structure it within taking what you have now and to making it to one, molding it so that it can be congruent so that you have a basis of both so you don't necessarily have to come over here to over here to get it you already have it here basically um you also go through your moments of your up and down because you can be loving and kind and spiritual and this and that and that but regardless you still can draw 
pick and expand and choose to take from over here your experience of what it is to have understanding of this and take it into this when you're over there basically um but once you're when if you're able to bring it together you have a basis so you don't like i said you don't have to go and drawing it from other words you can take it from here because it's already there kind of thing um that's 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 probably the easiest way to understand why it's a good most preferable idea to be centered and balanced because if you're balanced you're not tipping towards going more back over here to get it you're being balanced because you already brought all that of this and that you brought it together so you have the basis so you don't have to keep going back and forth and to be centered so that you can stay in the neutral perspective of what it means to draw from that base of what it is being balanced so that you don't have to go back and forth um and if once you are able to have that base of balance of centeredness you're able to start understanding what it means to recall and understanding of what it means to have token or to take and to focus and form through that side of what it means to focus and be and shape from this side and bring it forth so that you can go to the next page next step next understanding of expression of deepening to be able to do the same thing once again um because going back to the whole understanding of what it means of you want to like okay now you understand um let, let's take it from swimming to going ahead going and running you understand that if you don't when you're swimming you don't move your move your whole body basically you're gonna sink unless you're really skilled and you can float um but when you run you still have to move your whole body or you're gonna stay there <laughs> you're not really gonna float or love it whatnot you're not gonna sink you're just gonna stay in that one spot because you don't have water basically you're in solidness um but basically with your arms your whole body but with your arms you got to move your arms or you or it's going to be a really good challenge in that running or that swimming because well you can use your feet but in the water but yes um but like I have said, what do you choose, basically? You have this and you have that. You have this and you have that. What not? It doesn't exactly matter of anything else except for how you choose to express yourself right now. Because you can have all this. You can have all that. You can be mean and you can be loving. You can be hate. You can be joyful but going back to the whole sand thing and water what are you what quickly going to it or slowly learning out of it bless me that's another reason why you came down or you're here right now of having so much challenge because you're in the water you're swimming in the water but if you are in a place where you don't have that challenge you're swimming in the sand like I said, you're still going to learn, but you're not going to necessarily have to go ahead, go ahead and draw from this and that to bring it to one. You still are, but it's easier to stay balanced and centered and afloat in the sand than when you're in the water. It's going to be more a challenge. Um, that's basically what I got at this moment um, I just really wanted to make a video that had that I've been pretty much wanting to do that for a good moment now after that video I wanted to be patient so I can assimilate and understand what it means to really take from this and to take from this and to bring it together so I have that one area of what it means to understand so I don't have to go pick packing back and forth I can be balanced and centered and being able to understand what it means to keep my ego by myself to go through it to form it because yes I believe that I am that 
higher upness that is just purity of divine bliss, joyfulness in every moment. But I have chosen to come here so I can expand and understand what it means not to have that. Because swimming in the water is a lot quicker and expanding and whatnot. Um, but really, what do you want? It's really up to you. You might hear that all the time. It's, but do you actually like think about it and take into the consideration of what it means that you can choose what you feel and how you want to feel it and what not? Yes, it's a step-by-step -step process. It's not to go overnight. It's really just a step-by-step -step process, one foot in the other. Because don't beat yourself up if you choose to, I'm going to be only loving. That's like taking it from neutral and going to that pole, total opposite of what it is to be hateful kind of thing. You should be always as a preferable way so that you can understand from both sides and have that base of that centeredness of what it can be to be that. But, like I said, what do you choose? How do you choose to feel? How are you in this moment? How are you in this moment? Have you hugged yourself lately? Um, you know, you are very, very beautiful. You're the only one that can ever be you. There are other people that can have an idea of what it means to be you, but they would still be being themselves, attempting to be you. Um, probably the last thing I want to say on this video is it's, it's like... Somebody giving you a cup of whatever, a full cup of whatever it is, water, and then basically them saying, don't go to that fire, don't, don't get too close to that fire, you're going to get burnt. You can, they can say that all you want, all they want to you, but are you going to swim in the sand or are you going to swim in the water? Not necessarily saying that you shouldn't listen to them because they're unless you're really, really super strong and really not going to have the full effect of being able to take into this experience what it means to be here now in this human form of a limitation with of a being that is limitless um, <laughs> of to be burnt. Because most likely you are going to be burnt um, unless you understand you put... Um, you put baking flour over it, or you put egg yolks on it every hour, and then whatnot, and you will, you will have your skin like baby stuff. I actually read something on a lady did that to somebody because they got burnt, and the paramedic said, you saved that person's life because she took eggs and put them on that person's face. And um, he said it was like baby soft and whatnot. It was, that was really cool. But going back to... You can take that cup and not get burnt and they're holding that space so that you don't have to hold that so that you can go ahead and take the next step so you don't have to learn that personally. Or you can go ahead and get burnt by that fire, empty that cup up and fill it up yourself. It's really how you choose. Um, but basically, yeah. How do you choose? What do you choose? And why do you choose it? Because there's a reason why you chose it. Um... But find your inner beauty. Find your beauty. It doesn't matter about any of the other stuff. It matters about what is your base of what you have chosen to take into what your base would be in your centeredness. Um, also, it's a, as another thing of being balanced and centered, you should be grounded. Because if you're grounded, you're able to fully be in that of what it means to be a limitless being in a limited human kind of a way. Not to say humans are limited, but it's they're more limited because, well, most likely when you go and jump off your roof, gravity's going to assist you in that lesson of what it means to be limited to hit the ground kind of a thing. But what do you choose? What do you choose? Ask yourself. Get a piece of paper, whatever, however you want to do it, but ask yourself. What do I want to choose? Hug yourself.
and love yourself. Because, really? How else are you going to know how to love somebody else and to hug somebody else without doing it to yourself?